Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Championship Predictions. A few results went against the odds, a few results went with the odds but the game didn't quite work out the way it was supposed to. And um, for example the Huddersfield and West Brom game, I'll talk more about it when I get to their fixtures. Um, you know, but before we get all into that this week, for the first time, for this season, we're going to look at the championship table. As it stands, obviously just a week like still a long way to go. But I always do find it around this time that teams define, like, getting their brackets, like, top six, uh, middle of this table, bottom three. You know, I'll start to work out roughly round about this period. So here we go. We've got leagues in first. We've got Swansea in second. Preston are good in third. There's only a point between Preston and Leagues in first place. Leagues was 17, uh, Preston on 16. And then it goes all the way down to 16 points to QP, uh, QPR, who are in fifth. But West Brom are also tied in fourth with 16 points. The only thing that's keeping them apart is goal difference. And then in just outside the relegation, uh, not relegation, playoff spots, is Bristol City in seventh. I'll be very, very surprised if Bristol City don't make the playoffs this year. Um, in eighth, we've got Charlton. Newly promoted Charlton, obviously coming back from League One, doing very well this season in eighth. Then you've got Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday, you know, they seem to they seem to be looking back up. But ever since that season that Brighton got promoted, um, it might be that season or it might be a season before. Um, you know, Sheffield Wednesday did go down the table quite a lot. Um, and then the top 10 finishes with Blackburn with 13 points. Literally, there's only four points between Blackburn in 10th and Leagues in 1st. So that top 10 bracket is really, you know, anyone's spot at the minute. Um, bottom three, you got Huddersfield down in bottom, 24th. Stoke in 23rd and Barnsley in 22nd. Um, Huddersfield have got one point, Stoke have got two, Barnsley got five, and Luton are just sitting outside the relegation zone uh, with seven points, two points more than Barnsley. The other team that really has gone downhill is Reading ever since they got that uh, final uh, player final at Wembley. You know, they have really gone downhill. Um, Derby County. Yeah, probably another one ever since Frank Lampard left. Um, and then the rest of the table, you know, will it does look like it's taking shape. The only other team that I found a bit disappointing at the minute is Cardiff. Um, drawing uh, points with Fulham, uh, 12 points apiece. I'll be, I'll be more surprised if Fulham don't make the playoffs. No disrespect to Cardiff whatsoever. Um... But guys, anyway, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to kick off with is Fulham versus Wigan. Fulham won all at Hillsborough um, against Sheffield Wednesday away from home. Wigan beat Chatton Athletic 2-0 at home. Big three points for Wigan. Um... You know, Wigan probably weren't expecting to get the three points up at Charlton. And obviously, as we just looked at the league table, we'll say other uh, things. And put the odds in Charlton's favour as well. Um, but it turned out not to be. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Fulham win. My next one is Stoke City versus Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest beating Barnsley 1-0 at home. Stoke City 0-0 at Brentford. Good point for Stoke. 
Um, a second point for this season. You know, with Nathan Jones in charge, I was expecting a lot more of Stoke. Turned out not to be. So, I think Stoke are really paying the price at the minute. Um, you're a Stoke City fan. Please tell me whether you, you do, what you want to see from Nathan Jones. Do you want to see him gone? Please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but, on the other hand, Nottingham Forest... They ain't doing too badly as it stands. You're literally we're in the top six um, in sixth place with 15 points. You're, you know, you look like you have a strength to strength this season. Could this season be your, where you make your promotion back up to the Premier League? But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2 0 notch for this win. My next one is QPR versus West Brom. QPR beating Millwall away from home 2 1. West Brom beating uh, Huddersfield Town 4 2 at home. Uh, West Brom had to pull that one back as well. Um, let's not forget that they did have to put it back. Uh, I think Huddersfield went 2 1 up as well. So a big loss for Huddersfield. Uh, I'll be very surprised even at this early stage, no disrespect to Huddersfield, or possibly back-to-back -back relegations as well. Um, but on the West Brom point of view, could you be looking back up to the Premier League as well? QPR, you know, probably a Good three points at the den as well. So fair play to you both teams. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 West Bromwich Albion win. My next one is Blackburn versus Luton. Luton losing at home 3 0 to Hull City. Blackburn beating Reading 2 1 away from home. That Luton Town result. I'm probably expecting a more closer margin. No disrespect to Hull. Um, Blackburn result probably was just a little bit more expected. No disrespect to Reading. But I can't see Reading being that too far away from actually, you know, start pushing back up the table. Um, but as far as this result goes, I've gone for a 2-0 Blackburn win. And Blackburn is strong at home. Um, the next one is Charlton Athletic versus Leagues. Charlton Athletic losing 2 0 away from home to Wigan. Leagues 1 0 at home to Derby County. Good point for Derby. I'll talk about that in a minute because that's actually my next uh, prediction. Um, but a disappointing day at the office for Leagues. Um, you know, you've got, well, I mean, the Swansea won the weekend, they were gone back top, that's pure and simple, but obviously it turned out not to be, so Leeds still sit in the top spot, but the hobby can't, if I was a Leeds fan, I'd probably be a bit disappointed, uh, please feel free to put your comments down below, um, but as far as this result goes, I've gone for I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Derby County versus Birmingham. As I said, Derby County is my next game up, one all um at leagues. Um Birmingham losing one nil at home to Preston. Big Disappointment, um, actually no, it's no real big disappointment because I know how tough Preston is. Um, but as far as this one goes, I've gone for a 2-1 Birmingham win. My next one is Huddersfield versus Millwall. Huddersfield losing 4-2 away from home to West Brom. 
Millwall loses to QPR at home 2-1. Um, disappointing day for Huddersfield. Go two goals up and they still throw it. Um, no disrespect to Huddersfield, but if you're gonna keep, if you're gonna stand this league, you need to, you know, start winning games. Uh, I don't need to be a magician to tell you that. But you're going up against a very tough Millwall side. Uh, at home. Which one? I'm going to give this one a point apiece, I think. And I'm going to go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Hull City versus Cardiff. Cardiff beating Middlesbrough 1-0 at home. Hull City beating Luton 3-0 away from home. Good three points for Hull. Good three points for Wigan. Um, you know, with the whole result, as I said, it's better to a closer margin, but great three points for Cardiff. But as far as this result goes, I've gone for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um, Middlesbrough losing 1 0 away to Cardiff, just literally mentioned that. Um, Sheffield Wednesday 1 0 at home to Fulham. Great point for Sheffield Wednesday. Disappointed day for Middlesbrough. Excuse me. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to give it to Middlesbrough and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Middlesbrough win. My next one is Preston North End versus Bristol City. Preston 1 0 winners away to Birmingham. Um, Bristol City 0 0 against Swansea. Disappointing result for Bristol City. Um, great three points for Preston. So for this one, I've gone for a 2-1 Bristol City win. My next one is Swansea versus Reading. Reading losing 2-1 at home to Blackburn. Swansea 0-0 at um, away to Bristol City. Great three points for the Swans. Reading on another disappointed day at the office, but as far as this one goes, I'll go give it to Swansea and I'm gonna go for a 3 0 Swansea win. My last one for this weekend is Barnsley versus Brentford. Barnsley losing 1 0 away to Notch Forest, Brentford 0 0 at home to Stoke. Disappointing day for Brentford. Um, Disappointing day for well, I can't say disappointing days to, for Barnsley because of how not sure it's are at home. They've been super strong. Um, I think ever since like the fourth week in, you know, back to back wins and so how do I predict this one? I'm gonna give it to Brentford and I'm gonna go for a one nil win for that one. But guys, anyway, you know what to do, give it to the Big fat fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.